Hello, this is Dr. Hannah Asil, and this is about the human excretory system or what we refer to as the renal system. So, what do we know about the excretory system? This is the system where excretion happens and you should realize that excretion is the removal of toxic materials waste products of metabolism and substances in excess of requirements from the body. So we need to remove toxic materials. The kidneys, for example, removes urea that was made in the liver. Remember, if we eat excess proteins, then the liver breaks it up into urea and the urea is a toxic material, so it is excreted through the kidneys. We also have to do excretion of waste products of metabolism. For example, your lungs will help to excrete carbon dioxide, which was produced during respiration. We also need to get rid of substances in excess of requirements from the body. For example, if you eat too much uh, or if you drink too much water, then your skin can help to uh, get rid of some of the excess water. And of course, your kidneys also helps to get rid of excess water. So that's excretion. Now, our urinary system or renal system is made up of two kidneys. Um, there are tubes coming from each kidney and these are called ureter and these carry the urine from the kidneys to the bladder. The urine is stored in the bladder until it is uh, sent out of the body through the urethra. So this is the urinary system. So we have two kidneys. Each kidney is bringing, uh, is having blood brought from the heart. So the blood comes from the heart through the aorta. Remember that the blood coming from the heart has urea, it has excess water, it has excess salts, and our function is to remove the urea, the excess water and excess salts from this blood, and then return it back to the heart. Now, when the blood enters the kidneys, it enters through the renal artery. So this is blood carrying urea and salts and glucose and uh, the other things that are in the blood. Uh, the renal vein is carrying the blood away from the kidney. So this is the blood that we have removed urea from. So the blood in the renal vein does not have any more urea. It has less water, less salts because the kidneys have extracted them and it has less glucose because the kidney cells have used up the glucose for uh, respiration. It will also have less amino acids because the uh, cells in the kidneys have used up these amino acids. And this blood is returned to the heart through the vena cava. Now, what has been removed from the blood, which is excess water, excess salts, and urea, this is what we call urine. The urine goes down through the ureter to be stored in the urinary bladder and then expelled out of the body through the urethra. So, the function of the kidneys is filtering the blood to remove urea, excess water and excess salts and these are excreted out of the body in the form of urine. Now what happens inside the kidneys is really for the O-level biology not for any pre-IG but let's take a look at what is happening inside the kidneys. Now we said the renal artery is bringing blood to the kidneys. When it enters into the kidneys, the kidneys have millions of what we call nephrons. So these tubes that are drawn here, these are called nephrons and each kidney has millions of nephrons. Each nephron is what is doing the filtration. 
So what happens in the nephron is there is a part called the glomerulus, that is the blood vessels carrying the blood. And there is a part called the Bowman's capsule. And what happens here is all the soluble substances are filtered out of the blood into these tubes, which we call the nephron. So all the water, all the salts, urea, all the glucose, all the amino acids, everything that is soluble will be filtered out of the blood from the glomerulus to the Bowman's capsule. But then we want to return some of these things back to the blood through the renal veins. So what is returned back to the blood is what the body needs. So we're going to return what we have from glucose, amino acids, uh, salts, water, but we do not reabsorb urea. So the things that are reabsorbed in the proximal convoluted tubule inside the nephron that is inside the kidney what is reabsorbed is what is needed by the body so everything soluble goes back into the blood except the urea the urea then goes out through the collecting ducts eventually it goes out through the ureter in the form of urine what if the kidneys do not work so if someone's kidneys do not work First of all, we have two kidneys. If one of them does not work, that's okay because the other one will do the job. But if both kidneys are not working, then this person has to go through a process called dialysis. Dialysis means his blood will be passed through partially permeable membranes that are surrounded by a solution that has glucose and amino acids, but no urea. So the dialysis solution has the things that are required but no urea so that when the blood flows through these tubes the urea will diffuse out into the dialysis solution uh, excess salts will diffuse out and then we're going to return the blood back to the patient's arm so this is a process of uh, artificial functioning of the kidney so this is called the dialysis okay so the only thing that diffuses out of the blood would be the urea and that does not come back of course glucose can diffuse in and out amino acids can diffuse in and out but urea because the dialysis solution has no urea so the urea diffuses from area of high concentration in the blood to area of low concentration in the dialysis solution and then the dialysis solution carries it away. So this is the process of dialysis. And that's all you need to know for the uh, renal system. Uh, I hope that was useful to you and thank you for listening.